Well, a Green Bay bar remains open despite receiving several citations. Police say it was operating like a strip club. But that trouble is not the reason the bar's owner was in court this morning. David Nichols and his ex-wife Brenda filed a restraining order petition against Green Bay Alderman Chris Weary. Nichols' bar, the press box, was cited Tuesday night for operating as an entertainment facility without a license. Nichols says his bar is just a bikini bar. The Nichols claim that the Alderman Weary is a source of their problems and they want him to stay away from them. Weary says he's just been trying to do his job. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has our new details. David Nichols and his ex-wife Brenda showed up to Brown County Court saying they need more time in their case against Chris Weary. This whole situation is all twisted together and it's going to take quite a bit to to get it unsnarled. The dispute started when Brendan Nichols requested an entertainment license from the city to open a strip club. Weary was the lone member of the Protection and Welfare Committee to vote against the request. The city council later denied it unanimously. I don't know, understand why he's doing this to me. Council members said Brendan Nichols' strip club would have been too close to Bay Beach Amusement Park. Hours after the council vote, Weary showed up at David Nichols' bar, the press box. His visit ended with two police officers asking him to leave. Both sides believe Weary's role at the bar will influence the restraining order ruling. Weary says he was performing a routine inspection of the bar. Nichols says if Weary was on the job, then he shouldn't have been drinking. Nichols says he has multiple witnesses to prove it. It was either rum and coke or it was Captain and Coke, but he was drinking alcohol. That's news to me. Uh, it would have been hours earlier. Weary told Fox 11 on Wednesday he only had a soda at the press box. What I'm going to do is this. The judge allowed the Nichols a week-long delay in the restraining order case. Weary left court without commenting on camera. He did tell me while the delay is frustrating, he says the facts will be the same at next week's hearing. The Nichols will need to be prepared the next time they see Weary in court. Their temporary restraining order expires the day the petition hearing is set to resume. In Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. And the Green Bay Police Department has not provided Fox 11 with a report of what happened the night that Weary was at the press box. Police said yesterday Weary had nothing to do with an undercover investigation of that bar. The investigation led to 12 citations, including operating an entertainment facility without a license and illegal physical contact.